Okay, everybody, we're back here. I got another, uh, this is going to be a comparison. Basically, I got a uh, Dixon Ticonderoga. This is a 1388-2. It's a HB, which I believe stands for hard black, soft. Uh, this is against a, uh, what is this? Maybe an Office Express or something like that. I don't know. This is just a cheapy pencil from one of these office stores. And that's the comparison we have for you today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get a piece of paper here for you. All right. Now, my personal preference is I can't stand this pencil whatsoever the eraser or the lead and I quite enjoy this Ticonderoga so sorry to uh, ruin any kind of spoiler but that's just the facts the Ticonderoga writes so smooth <laughs> yeah there's two O's in smooth there we go. The Ticonderoga, the Ticonderoga writes very smooth. This one just basically scratches the paper. You want to write very softly with this one because... Actually, that wasn't too bad just now, but... This pencil is horrible. The eraser, as you can see, watch this. It just makes a mess. So it's not, it's not an enjoyable experience. The Ticonderoga is just... I mean, every once in a while, you'll get it into a... You'll get it at a certain angle where it might not feel like butter, you know, <laughs> basically. But for the most part, every time you're writing with this pencil, it's just butter. I mean, it's just smooth. It's just silky smooth. It's just glides like butter. I mean, I'm not really even into pencils, you know? I just like to use them because I make a lot of mistakes when I'm writing, so it's easier to erase. So what's the point of using a pencil like this to erase when you're just going to make a huge mess like that? You're going to get a, a really nasty looking eraser and you're just not even going to want to, you're going to have a bad experience, you're not going to want to do much writing. So the Decondo Roga is a step above these other pencils. You know, I don't know a whole lot about the pencil game. In my opinion though, for the value of what you're getting and what you're paying, you can't go wrong with the Ticonderoga. Okay guys, I'm going to get some more of these. They sell them pretty much everywhere. You can get these at Walmart. I'm sure you can get them at the same places. You can get these little cheap pencils. And the, the price difference is probably you're going to be paying about maybe 5 to 10 cents for these. And you're going to pay 10 to 15 cents for these. So do yourself a favor and just pay the extra couple pennies and get this one. Because this is just, this is probably... Okay, for pencil fighting, uh, I'm sure there's some other purposes for this, you know, in a pinch, you know, it can be used as a writing instrument, but otherwise, you know, stick with the Ticonderoga, because that's the real deal, you know, the, D D the Dixon Ticonderoga, this happens to be the 1388-2 HB soft, however, I mean, they have a whole line of pencils and they're all great, so they're all great for the value. You know, I'm sure there's better pencils out there, but you're going to be paying, you know, what, more than a dollar a pencil. And then, come on, it's just a pencil. We don't need to be paying a dollar per pencil. You know, if you have an endless budget and, you know, you want to go spending a dollar per, per pencil, who am I to tell you not to? However, if that's not the situation and you want your best value, then this is, this is going to be your best bang for the buck. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. And I'm going to come back and visit some more Ticonderoga pencils. I really enjoy them. So that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this. And, uh... <clears throat> excuse me again raspy voice anyway so um yeah let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see uh this is a fun hobby for me to do and uh it's it's uh, even funner if we can engage a little bit more so if you want to if there's something you want to see and reviewed or if you have any questions please let me know don't hesitate to ask in the comments below uh like subscribe if you if you would like to and uh i'll see you on the next one all right guys take care